Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer here, and today we're going to be looking at the Clone Trooper from the 327th Star Corps. Uh, before we take a closer look at this guy, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. He came out in the Legacy Collection, so he's got the standard Legacy Collection packaging. Here on the back, there's a description, and if you'd like to read that, you can pause the video. There are some other figures in the wave. And down here, you can see it came with a droid factory part uh, that would have been displayed right here on the back of the card. And the particular one that it comes with is the right leg of MBRA7. Uh, I'm not familiar with that character, uh, but he does come with a piece. And uh, here it is. You know, it's okay. Uh, it doesn't have that much articulation. It would have it here at the hip and at the knee, uh, but no ankle articulation. Uh, interesting enough, it uh, has a really good hinge in the knee. It goes overextends, actually. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but back to the figure here. Uh, here he is. He stands about right at four inches tall. And uh, he comes with a pretty good selection uh, of accessories. The first one being his uh, rifle here. This is the more detailed but kind of thin, flimsy version uh, of the gun. Uh, you know, I think this is the uh, best version. But, you know, uh, you can have your opinions, I guess. He comes with two of these. Uh, kind of in, I think they're Imperial Blasters. Uh, but they're pretty well detailed too, and I'm pretty sure he can hold them yeah, if you wanted them to. And he's got two holsters on his side right there if you want to put them uh, in there. That's where I usually keep them. And his last accessory uh, is this rifle here. This is the really good uh, shorter clone blaster. You can see the, the foresight there actually has a hole in it. It's, it looks like a piece of wire like it did in the movie. It's just really well detailed. Uh, but back to the figure. Uh, he's, he's pretty good. You know, he is an older figure, so he's not like perfect or anything. But uh, underneath his helmet, which is removable, it's kind of a soft plastic, uh, he's got a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinge knees. Uh, I should mention that these are stuck, but that's just because, you know, he's been standing in this position uh, pretty much forever. The uh, kind of cape thing here is not very soft, so it does kind of keep him from, you know, using his uh, legs really. You can pretty much just stand up. It's the only pose you're going to get him in. He's also got ball hinge uh, ankles. They did this thing here where they used a yellow peg instead of a white one. So it looks really ugly, uh, you know, from the back. Uh, and whenever you have the uh, piece articulated, it doesn't look right. Uh, but other than that, this guy's pretty good. I should mention uh, that if you do have the helmet on, you can kind of see his chin all the time. It doesn't want to go, uh, because of this, like, pauldron right here, it doesn't want to go all the way onto his head. So you will always kind of see his chin uh, just a little bit, but it's not, like, a huge problem. So I would say uh, this guy, if you can get him for a good price, uh, is worth picking up. Uh, but I wouldn't pay too much for him because he's not, you know, like an outstanding figure. It's just uh, kind of average. But uh, tell me what you think about him in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you later.